Hello everyone, I'm your Green Bay Neighborhood Reporter, Andrew Muzu. And I'm here at City Deck in front of the iHeartGB sign. Now, I'm new to the area and I know that there are two things that Wisconsinites love. They love the Packers and they love cheese and that is well represented in this sign. And today I'm really excited to learn more about Green Bay and everything that it has to offer. Our next stop is at the Packers Heritage Trail and I'm sitting next to our guy, George Whitney Calhoun, someone who helped pave the way and put Green Bay on the map, working very closely with Curly Lambeau, helping found the Green Bay Packers. For most of Calhoun's career, he worked with the Green Bay Press Gazette, but also served as the Packers secretary and publicist. And you could say this place is bigger than football because it highlights everything from how players impacted the game on and off the field to highlighting the original donors of the Packers franchise and really emphasizing just how much this team is for and of the community. We are here at Bay Beach, Green Bay's most popular amusement park. There's a Ferris wheel, there's a big slide, there's food and there's fun games. And yes, there's also a roller coaster. It's right here. It's called the Zippin' Pippin'. And with the many things to do here, it comes to no surprise as to why this place has been open for 130 years, making it one of just 13 amusement parks nationwide to do so. It's just a lot of fun. There's a lot of rides you can do, fun food. My personal favorite ride is the swing. It's like it goes around in a circle and you just go really high and really fast. Now look at this, this is, this is insane. But we are here at the Neville Public Museum, which has benefited Northeast Wisconsin for over 100 years. Its founders are Mr. and Mrs. Arthur Neville and is for everyone. It has exhibits from art, history, even science. And in front of the museum, there's even a small area filled with plants and flowers. But if you're looking to check out more plants and flowers, just head over to the Green Bay Botanical Gardens, which has been open since the late 90s. And I even spoke with the coordinator who told me that this place is more than just flowers. So you can expect a variety of different types of gardens from shade to full sun, perennials to annuals. Uh, we, we feature a lot of special hybrid plants, especially in our pasta garden and also in our magnolia grove. Um, we, we even have a conifer garden, the Gene Art Conifer Garden. Um, we have uh, something for every age, we, including our massive uh, exp expansion of our Bell Children's Garden, which has been an extremely popular asset for us. We have now made it to City Hall, which is a place where some of the biggest decisions are made for the city. This place also features employment opportunities, event planning, and service requests but there's also something that's really cool about this building that I want to show you. Check it out. This is the historic City Hall Bell, which was featured in the original City Hall building and is now a symbol of the city's legacy and history. And speaking of history, if you like that plus cars, you need to check out the Automobile Gallery. And listen, there are over 100 vehicles here. This is insane. This is a 1917 Milburn. Look at, look at this historic thing, but behind me, a 1912 Maxwell. And that's not the only thing here. Let's check out some more. They also have some of the newest cars here, and these are sick. This one's a 2012, a Mercedes-Benz, but look at the wings here. There's red seats in there, it's really cool. But all of these cars were owned by William Red Lewis, who's also the owner of PDQ Car Wash, for all my locals out there. But look at this car right here, the 2020 Ford GT. And someone here told me that this car was bought for $750,000. That's insane. This car is sick. This place is sick. It's awesome. You got to check it out for sure. Yep, that place, super cool. But now on to some more history. Now, if you're looking for some entertainment, look no further than the historic Meyer Theater. It opened its doors on Valentine's Day, 1930, and this building quickly soon became something that everybody would grow to love. Louis Armstrong, Nat King Cole, the Beach Boys all graced the stage here, and it became a historic site for this town. And of course, it's located in downtown Green Bay. I mean, it only makes sense, right? 
Well, that's gonna do it for my scavenger run today. It was a great day to visit some of the best sites around the city. And I know that's just a small sample size of everything that Green Bay has to offer. Once again, my name is Andrew Muzi, your Green Bay neighborhood news reporter. And remember, Green Bay is the number one place to live in. I'll see you soon.